Hey Ventures, so today is going to be another book review. This is for The Viscount de Bragelonne by Alexandre Dumas. This is more or less the third book in the D'Artagnan romances. Um, so that being the series that includes The Three Musketeers and The Man on, and the Iron Mask. So I'll get right into it. So of course this is a, I believe it's a historical fiction. For, um, from everything that I'm seeing I haven't specifically gone and looked at when the book was written versus when it's set, um, but everything else I've seen about it kind of leans towards this being historical fiction. Um, it's also just like an adventure story, just like all the other stories in this series are. As I mentioned, this is the third part in the D'Artagnan romances, and really the first part of the final story. So the, the final story is, um, when this was written, it was The Three Musketeers, 20 years after, and then 10 years later, and 10 years later was then split up into more pieces. So this is the first part of that 10 years later. It follows, as always, D'Artagnan, but there is not nearly as much of a focus on Athos, Porthos, or Aramis in this book. They're still there, um, but they're, the focus, it's, these books have always been about D'Artagnan, but this one specifically doesn't have, doesn't include those other characters quite as much as the first two did. They do play a role, but it's a very different one from the previous two books. This book also starts to focus on Raoul de Bragelonne, and the second half specifically really starts to tell his story quite a bit more. While there's definitely a good amount of adventure in this book, it is far less than the previous two, and instead it focuses a lot more on politics. Our main cast is getting older now. This is set 30 years, I believe, let's say 20, yeah, 30 years after the events of the Three Musketeers. So all those characters that were in their 20s at that time are now in the 50s, and they're clearly older. And though they're still strong and ener energetic, they're forced to think strategically much more than ever before. It's they're, they're forced to do things a little bit differently than they would have just run in guns blazing type thing before. And they can't quite do that the same way now, even though they're still the best swordsmen, the strongest people, you know, the smart, they're all the things that they were before, they're just older. Once again, we find ourselves following several different stories and watching as the smartest men in France try to outsmart each other. D'Artagnan, as always, has inserted himself into the middle of everything and ends up on one mission after another. And it's kind of, in a way, that's the formula for all three of these stories. But it works and it's done so differently each time. And it's just a brilliant way of telling the story and the fact that it fits with his character each time. But it's, but the, um, his character growth still leads him to do different, to look at things in a different way. It works really well. This book is just as amazingly well written as the other Dumas books that I've read, so that would be Count of Monte Cristo, Three Musketeers, and Twenty Years After. Um, this one is just as well written as those three, but it's far less action heavy. There still is a lot of action and activity going on, but it's far less of battle after battle or duel and this and that happening and fighting all over the place. It's far less of that. It's far more political maneuvering and I guess you could say spying, stuff like that. There's a lot more of that than there is just straight up action. Even with the toned down action though, it is still one of the most complex and smartest books I've ever read. It is, it's super enjoyable to me and I can't wait to continue on with Louise de la Valliere, which is the next part of this final, final story. That's really all that I have to say about this book. It's kind of the third book in a series. You can't really say a whole lot about the third book in a series. But this series, I've just enjoyed so much reading Dumas, but also reading this book specifically in this this D'Artagnan romances. They've just, I have some issues, some, uh, I don't want to say issues, but some things about them that I'm like, that's really weird, especially to our modern day sensibilities. But at the same time, the stories that are being told are just so good and so well done that I can't help but enjoy and absolutely love my time spent reading them. So that is my review for The Viscount de Bragelonne by Alexandre Dumas. Thank you guys for watching and narrative adventure. We post videos every Monday and Thursday. We have our social medias linked in the description down below. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. We will see you guys again soon. Stay warm.